Well, meanwhile, we continue to follow the health of author Salman Rushdie. His agent confirmed the writer has been taken off a ventilator. You're looking at a live shot at the hospital where he's being treated after he was attacked on stage at a lecture in New York State. CBC's Natalie Collada has been tracking this story for us. So, Natalie, what more have we learned? Well, we do know that his condition is improving, Hillary, and this is in an email to Reuters from his literary agent, Andrew Weil, who wrote, it will be a long uh, recovery. The injuries are severe, but his condition is headed in the right direction. Now, on Friday, we do know that Rushdie was being introduced at a literary festival when a man rushed the stage and attacked him. Rushdie was stabbed in the neck in the face and in the abdomen. Now, the attacker was arrested on the stage and reaction to this, as you can imagine, has been widespread. Famous authors, politicians have been lending their support, but also the community where the literary festival took place, really speaking up about this. Have a listen to what they had to say. Being able to read what's available and make up your own mind and discuss it is so important. And I feel like Mr. Rushdie knew that. He was an exemplar of that. He's led a difficult life because of the choices that he stood by. And those choices she is referencing is, of course, the penning of the Satanic Verses. That was the novel he wrote back in the 80s, that he received death threats from uh, many people in the Muslim community who find it uh, um, blasphemous. So that uh, book, in fact, was banned in India, in Pakistan, in Iran. A fatwa was also issued for Salman Rushdie. Uh, that was never rescinded. And that comes with a $3 million bounty on his head. So as a result, R Rushdie had been in hiding for about a decade and had recently said he was finally starting to believe his life was, quote, returning to normal again. And then, of course, Hillary, we had this attack on Friday. And Natalie, the suspect in that attack appeared in court yesterday. So what do we know about him so far? Well, Hillary, we know he's 24 years old. He's from New Jersey. His name is Hattie Matar, and he appeared in court and was arraigned under charges with of attempted murder and assault. And he entered a plea of not guilty with his lawyer. He was denied bail. The district attorney alleges that the suspect took steps to purposely harm Rusty, uh, that this was a targeted attack, that things like evidence that shows things like him getting an advance pass to the event, arriving a day early, having a fake ID, all of that, they say, points to this being a targeted, quote, pre-planned attack. Important to note, though, the motive here is not clear. Investigators are still working to determine what, uh, if anyone else, could have been potentially linked to these attacks. Okay, Natalie, thank you for this. The CBC's Natalie Collada for us in Toronto.